Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back where we left off at the fair. We're trying to track down the whippets because we believe the Monty Muzzle has done something with them. Uh, and we found this little note saying save the dogs. So I think we're going to have to find more pieces of the note, seeing as it says select yeah. piece of a note. Thank you, Major Crumb. So we're going to have a look around. We've also got to become Master of Ceremonies or whatever he said to be able to do the announcement up here so we need to figure that out too uh so let's just take a look around and we'll see what is going on at now, the fair now where was i with this filth uh happy childhood heroics life's calling okay let's talk to what a man a selfless heroic charitable fellow gromit enjoying the fair must be easy to enjoy such simple pleasures when you're a dog. Uh, Not knowing the pain of unrequited love. You just wander through life, sniffing and scratching your way to happiness. While I must endure the loneliness of living without a man worthy oh of my, my God. Hand. Oh, But then there is Mr. Muzzle. Oh, really? All of those funds for our poor, homeless pups. I've never seen such altruism in all my years. Oh. He may be of meagre means himself, but he's rich in other ways. Oh, and what a handsome partner he'd make. Certainly compared to the rest of the town's buffoons. Uh, oh, if you no say so. men here worthy of the name. I want someone strong, brilliant, and brave to lavish me with praise. Mm. For instance, I had my hair done this morning, and did anyone notice? Not one of them. I'm sure Mr. Muzzle would have, had he not been so busy. <laughs> right. What does a woman have to do to attract attention? Uh probably not behave the way you behave I would say um, right watch happy childhood I guess life of muzzle god I don't know what this is gonna be oh cool Montgomery M muzzle spent his earliest and most joyous years in his mother's renowned chip shop Mmm, fish and chips. My lifelong favourite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ever the caring soul, he took great joy in sharing his dinner with those less fortunate. The dogs, really? I don't believe this. So began the life of a boy who knew he had much more to give than fish and chips. Oh, okay, that was pretty short. Uh, should we watch the heroic show next? Okay, shut up, Major Crumb. Early heroics. Oh, there he is, helping an old lady cross the street. It began as a typical day for Monty Muzzle, but fate would soon intervene. <gasps> Dogs! Oh, my darlings, somebody please help! Tally ho, muzzle will save you, pretties. Something tells me this has been exaggerated greatly. Or perish trying. Why did it drive off the edge of a cliff? <laughs> Bravery triumphs and the puppies are saved. He seems to be best friends with dogs in all of these, and we know that's not the case. My life's calling. There we go. I'm not sure what happened there. My life's calling. Oh, the chip shop burnt down. Tragedy. A market crashed, a man devastated. A will, a way, a plan. He would turn his misfortune into a fortune for others. Thus was born the magnanimous Monty Muzzle Fundraise Affair. 
Okay, well, that's his life story. What's going on over here? Oh, he's got one of the things. 1,416. Hmm. Let's see. Count this row across. Assume that the jar is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Can't be certain. Right, so we need to get that off of him somehow. I've been keeping my tallies on the back of this flyer for hours, Drummond. It's not leaving my sight until I've a grand prize in my hand. All right, well, that's... 194, 195, 190... Oh, bother, I've lost count now. Really? Hello, Gromit. I'm sorry, I'm just ever so keen to win the grand prize. Normally, I'm very skilled at counting produce in his shop, so I reckon this booth is my best chance of success. I've entered 12 guesses already, <laughs> and I know it's for charity and all, but these tickets don't come cheap. I'm back to counting, if you don't mind. Alright, so we've got to find a way of him getting the grand prize then. Look at then. them all. Heaven knows how many there are in there. Well, yeah, that's kind of the point of the game. <laughs> I wonder what fantastic treasure awaits the person who nails this guess spot on. I wouldn't know. Uh, oh, do we make a guess with this? Think a little teamwork is against the rules, eh? Yeah, lads. you have a go. Uh, no getting in there to count them, that's for sure. I've already tried. Mr. Muzzle weren't none too happy. You can imagine. Uh, do we have anything that. I mean, 506 perhaps? I mean, it seems a little bit simple, but. I don't think there's anything else that shows us any information, is there? Can we just go for 506 and see if that works? It's the only thing we've got with numbers on it, so we'll give it a go. Alright, Gromit. Seems as good a guess as any. Well, good try no, anyway, that's I not suppose. it then. I did think that would be a little bit too easy. Never mind, we'll have to have a look around and see if we can find anything else. Oh, there he goes. Oh, can we go to town? Oh, it's a wait thing for the Enemy ride, down. is it? The muzzler. Okay. Interesting. What the hell is this? What's this lard about? Fry? What are we frying? Will it fry? But what are we actually frying? Huh? What? <laughs> Do we need to get some lard or something? Is that what, what it's hinting at? Musmerelda's fortune cookies. Let's get out of Oh, that's terrifying. Ooh, a fortune cookie. Your nose could be mistaken for a slippery, slippery penguin. Uh, can we go behind this? Yeah, we can. A chicken? All right, yeah, create a clairvoyant codfish. Let's see what you have to see. Ah. Oh. The chicken does it. Cravens, what a bunch of rubbish. Uh, did it run away? It did. So we can... Your nose, your hair, your dog, your Scotland. It's sticky as, louder than... Wow, okay. Um... Could Do we have to do Scottish things? Is that is that what we've got to do here? So Scott, ah, oh, there it was again. Okay, we've got to look out for that. 
Yorkshire, Scotland is as tastes like black pudding. Who yeah. picked that up? What a load of nonsense. Right, okay, so we're going to have to find out the right combination for that then, so that we can get him to, um... Just kind of find the right plumbing words. Do you want to give us a hint? Hmm, okay. Apparently not. Ah, oh, just look at her. Loitering around that manky muzzle's booth of accomplishments. She's smitten, she is. By him! Disgusting! Makes me so angry I could blow me top! Ooh, I'm Monty Muzzle. I'm the most charitable, sensitive gentleman there ever was. I'm a blooming hero. <laughs> <laughs> Big pile of wet less, if you ask me. And what do you want, Mutt? Can't you see I'm working here? She wants a sensitive man, does she? Well, that's what Miss Flit will be getting. I'm composing her a poem. Ah. You're finished too, except for the last line. Got the whole thing memorized, even. I just cannot write the ending. Dearest Felicity, your eyes are as deep as the murkiest law. Oh, God. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. <laughs> My your word. haunches are sturdy. Your bearing is bold. Ugh, I've got nothing. I'd Look probably... Turn to a dog. Ah, going crazy, you are, McPiskey. Now, moggy off and let a man work. I mean, I would probably delete everything you've got there so far, to be quite honest. <laughs> Hello, Gromit. Having a grand day out? Uh, it's, it's alright, yeah. They just don't make men the way they used to. Except for Mr. Muzzle, of course. I don't understand. I'm an attractive, independent woman with a spanking haircut, and Mr. Muzzle has barely noticed me. But then, a man like that, who's dedicated his life to the noble cause of helping creatures weaker than himself, probably doesn't have time for such trifles as romance. Really? And I don't think any of the other men around here know the first thing about wooing a lady. Yeah, so what does she want... What does she want him to say? That's the question, isn't it? I don't ask it? for much. Sensitivity, kindness, intelligence. Obviously, financial independence helps too. Right. As do good looks. And the ability to clean a dish or two. Okay. And be patient, attentive, and right. to love animals, and wake up early, and cook, and enjoy the theatre, and... Did I mention be attentive? A woman gets a fashionable hairstyle, and someone should notice! Alright, so I wonder if it's to do with the hairstyle then, because she keeps mentioning that. Also, she's got a big list of demands from a man but there's like four Imagine men in the entire no town so shut up you stupid machine can we your future your style your nose your hair smells of is overshadowed by as grimy as could be mistaken for disappointing sticky is as neglected is the size of tastes like I'm guessing it maybe smells of something old, a patch of mould, pirate's gold. Hmm. Honestly, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really seeing. Pirate's gold? Could it be that? That's the only nice thing at the bottom. Is louder than, is as neglected as, is the size of, smells of, overshadowed by, grimy as. I, this is the only one that I, I think of, could be mistaken as. I don't know, That that's the only one that to me <laughs> could be the only half decent thing. Mm. 
Now let's see if this fortune's got anything useful for my poem. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Ah. That's okay. Bad, that is. I just work. I'm a blinking genius, I am. No need for these rotten lines. I've got yeah, because you did that all right yourself. Here. Okay. So hopefully that's going to work. I mean, we've got the leaflet anyway, so. Hello there, Felicity. Oh, hello, Duncan. You look ravishing today. Oh, my word. Oh, thank you, Duncan. In fact, I've written you a poem in honour of your astounding beauty. What? You've written a poem? Every last word. Really? Well, let's hear it then. <clears throat> Dearest Felicity, your eyes oh, God, you're are using those lines. as the murkiest law. Your teeth are as straight as Blackpool Rock. Your haunches are sturdy. Okay, it seems like she likes it, so it's okay. And your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. I don't know what to say. Brilliant, eh? You, you noticed my hair. I did. Oh, Duncan. Who could have guessed you're so sensitive and attentive to details? All right, we did it. Nice. Aye. My rugged Highland handsomeness may fool some, but inside, I'm nothing more than a caring and loving lamb. Come here, my little sugar plum fairy. <laughs> a caring and loving lamb that's been rolling around in the barnyard too long if my nose isn't mistaken. Oh, that's just my unique musk unique musk let's go down and stare longingly into each other's eyes well i'd say that's a job well done again by grummet i guess we'll pick this up save the dogs help okay so we've got two that says two more to go then uh should we head over here to are you smarter than a chicken oh look a fish oh that could be the grand prize I've got to be smarter than a chicken, right? Oh, it's noughts and crosses. Okay. I'm trying to remember what the guaranteed win, because there, there is a way to guaranteed win noughts and crosses, isn't there? Uh, but I can't remember exactly how you do it. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played noughts and crosses that I honestly don't remember. Um... You have to sort of make it so there's two... I don't know, let's see. I, I can't actually remember how you, you do the guaranteed win. Right, this is going to be a draw. Oh, so that's a fail, is it? Can we play again? I think the way that I know to guarantee the win, you have to go first. It seems like the chicken... W yeah, the chicken keeps going first. Damn you, chicken. Uh, right, what is the guaranteed win again? Don't you have to, like, set it up so you can win diagonally and straight or something? Damn it. Right, okay. We'll give it one more go, shall we? Right, I'm trying to, th trying to remember how you do the guaranteed win. <laughs> Like I said, it's been years since I've done noughts and crosses. Damn you, chicken. I flipping hate you. Feeding time for one of my golden geese. Oh. Oh, another loss, eh? Oh, I'm sure you'll win eventually. <laughs> yeah, I reckon there's some sort of fixing on the game going on here. Where's the thing that he fed? I wonder if there's um, 
if we can get some of the seeds or something. That might be worth something we can do. Yeah. Um, anyway. So I guess we need the goldfish for Mr. Paneer then, as like the prize. I wonder if we can actually go to town. Oh, we can! Okay, so there might be some things we can get here as well. There you are, you coochie coos, you! Oh. Ah, the missus says I need more mates, does she? <laughs> well, I've got the birds in the sky and bugs on right, the sill to keep me company. You won't find me making up numbers at some flipping fair. Good, because you're not invited. <laughs> Here, birdie, come to Papa Gabbley. All right then, so I reckon we're going to have to pick that up and give that to the chicken to distract him. But we'll do that in the next one because we are pretty much out of time, so we'll call it there for the episode. It's all going relatively smoothly. We've got two of the pieces. We need two more. I think we figured out how we're going to get at least one of them. So we're going to see, have a look around town as well in the next one and see what we can find. But that does it for this one. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.